Turkish armed forces are seeking to increase its number of homegrown most advanced T-129 Atak multirole attack helicopters to 91 by the next year. As of today, Turkey is operating around 69 T-129 gunships. Like the Turkish drones, the T-129 tactical reconnaissance and attack helicopter is another success story of advanced Turkish weapon systems and equipment. Turkey has already received heavy orders for multirole attack helicopters from various including Philippines, Brazil, Pakistan, Iraq, Nigeria, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Earlier this year, Turkey delivered two T-129 gunships to Philippines Air Force in its first-ever foreign delivery. Total six T-129s were ordered by the Philippines as country's first dedicated attack helicopter through a government-to-government -government contract worth $270 million in July last year. The 5-ton T-129 is a twin-engine multirole attack helicopter produced by the Turkish Aerospace Industries under license from the Italian-British company Agusta Westland. In order to meet the need of Turkish armed forces for a tactical reconnaissance and multirole attack helicopter, the Atak program was initiated in 2007. The Italian company Agusta Westland was engaged for negotiations to jointly develop the attack helicopter based on Agusta Westland A-129. Subsequently, a $1.2 billion contract was signed between the Turkish Aerospace Industries and Augusta Westland in June 2008. As per agreement, TIE developed the avionics, weapon systems, helmet-mounted system and mission computer for the chopper. The upgradation of a 129 airframe, engines, rotor blades and transmission were also made. The Turkish company Tusa's Engine Industries manufactured the CTS-800-4N engines under the license from American company LHTech, being a joint venture of Honeywell and Rolls-Royce. Under the agreement, Turkey is allowed to export the chopper to any third-party nation excluding Italy and United Kingdom and is entitled for intellectual property rights. However, the agreement gives the United States power to veto any prospective sales to a third party. In order to avoid any future trade restrictions from the United States, Turkey is also developing its own TTS 1400 engine for the chopper. Around, 95% of parts of the T-129 have been manufactured inside Turkey. The attack helicopter took its maiden flight in September 2009. The first unit was delivered to Turkish Armed Forces in April 2014. Presently, the aircraft is used by the Turkish Armed Forces, Ministry of Interior and General Directorate of Security. Per unit cost of each T-129 helicopter is around US$50 million. endurance of 3 hours and service ceiling of 15,000 feet. The gunship is installed with M197 3-barrel rotary cannon with capacity of 500 rounds, can carry 76 unguided rockets, 8 LUMTAS anti-tank guided missiles, 16 Sirat guided missiles and 8 air-to-air -air stinger missiles. The T-129 has maximum payload capacity of 1,200 kg. The helicopter has two drop tanks of 294 kg each. It is installed with laser rangefinder, a helmet-mounted display system, ASELFLIR-300T electro-optical FLIR avionics system and an emergency locator transmitter. The chopper has state-of-the-art stealth features and avionics to operate in the complex environment.
Various countries have shown interest to acquire T-129 attack helicopters from Turkey. In 2018, Pakistan chose Turkish attack helicopter to replace its aging fleet of AH-1F Cobra gunships. A contract worth $1.5 billion was signed for 30 T-129 attack helicopters. However, the delivery has not been made so far due to long-awaited export license by the United States for use of CTS-800 engines. The United States has seized all major arms sales to Turkey amid its procurement of Russian origin S-400 air defense system. Thai has also signed an agreement with Nigeria for export of 6 T-129 choppers. Countries like Brazil, Saudi Arabia and Qatar are also in discussions with the Turkey to acquire the chopper. From the last few years, Turkish aviation sector has remained very successful to produce and export advanced weapons systems to the various countries. The success of Turkish Bayraktar drones during Azerbaijan and Ukraine conflicts is widely applauded. Turkey is also developing next-generation combat drone and sixth-generation fighter jet which are due for unveiling in near future. Please like, share and subscribe for more updates.